What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So I'm making this video in response to what we had learned throughout our live stream here today about the brand new Super Sugo Fest exclusive Redhead Shanks. So this video is to just highlight the fact that you guys should not be investing into this Sugo Fest. Do not pull specifically for this Redhead Shanks character because it looks like right now he's probably the worst or one of the worst if not the worst Super Sugo Fest character in the game. Uh, there is one particular ability with this character that you know seemed to be pretty good on paper however when you put it into actual practice there are a couple of issues with it and in turn it makes him ultimately a really bad character and we'll go through it in this video of course but there's just a couple of reasons as to why you probably shouldn't be investing here. I mean, obviously, a lot of people really want to get their hands on Uta. And honestly, just, just pull for Uta. Uta is going to be a better investment in the long run. But let's talk about Shanks. I mean, there's... Uh, everyone's really disappointed with this, especially people that have already put the time in to pull for this character. Of course, spoilers, we do have the character. I'll have my pull video coming up later today, but of course, you know, that was before the fact that we knew that this character had the abilities that he has. So, it, 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 the thing about it is, is it kind of feels like false advertisement, even though it's not false advertisement, but then again, there's, we'll just talk about it. It, it stems from it stems from his super type ability. So his super type ability is the whole reason why this character works. His super type ability, if I can click on the actual button, says that he makes enemies into strength type for one turn. Now, the thing about it is, is that this does not go through full immunity. If the enemy it has full immunity or the enemy has immunity to, you know, everything except for like increased damage taken, for example, where you can apply one debuff, but everything else is negated. This does not go through it. And due to that, it makes this character a lot less viable for so much content. You know, we're saying, you know, he doesn't change super type enemies into strength, which I think is a pretty fair restriction on the unit because you can still use him in raids, coliseums, you can still use him in a lot of content. But now that they've made it in such a way where if the enemy has full immunity, you just straight up can't, you can, you can use this character. But it, it just makes it where his effect is kind of pointless. I'm trying to, you know, get all my thoughts together with this right now because it's really dumb. I don't understand why it's, why it's like this. And uh, you know, when we first heard about this, we are kind of just trying to compare, like, why is this the case? We have a look at the special and the wording, right? It says, makes enemies into strength type for one turn. Okay. And it doesn't say specifically goes through immunity or anything like that. It just says, cannot change super type enemy. Now, we were kind of drawing parallels to another type of ability here with like Hiyori, for example, characters that can apply a resistance down because with her effect is like when you tap on this character with a Wano slot applies minus 15% cerebral and slasher resistance to all enemies. And this is the thing is that we were expecting the type change to work very similarly to this in the fact that resistance goes through immunity. And it's kind of weird because you would think applying a resistance down to an enemy you would think that that would be considered more of a debuff than changing their type <laughs> it just doesn't make sense uh, the fact that applying immunity or applying a resistance down goes through immunity but type change doesn't and the fact that you know they like this one says specifically apply and it doesn't say in brackets you know goes through immunity and, and all of those status ailments like it just it's a, it's just a thing that resistance does and obviously we had another character in kinemon in denjiro which obviously activated with their swap ability as they can apply resistance down to uh, to slashes and stuff where it just says yeah apply is minus 20 percent slasher resistance to all enemies for one turn and that's where we kind of stand is like, well, yeah, you know, Shanks, well, if you're up against a mono strength content or mono strength enemy, yeah, this guy's probably the best captain in the game in terms of, you know, being a quick character. He's the best quick captain in the game, such a phenomenal special and captain. And it made sense with his super type. You can essentially use him on just about any content. But now that they've put that restriction on him, yeah, it makes it a lot more difficult to use. So I can't really suggest to pull for this character when we've got so many other better characters that you could be using. And that's another thing. Thing as well is that we have all of these amazing overpowered super sugo fest exclusives like you know even dex luffy with that consistent super tandem here this guy also has super tandem is going to be good but you know classes can be used in a lot more content than just colors but then obviously you've got kaido with his amazing effect to inflict increased damage taken through immunity and a conditional boosting special or boosting special wano slots like he's got the works and then you have luffy crew 
Like, the most busted unit in the game, where you only have to deal 50% of enemies HP, and the final tap does the rest of the work for you, goes through normal attacks only, goes through resilience, and by the way, Luffy Crew's effect does not say in his effect, goes through normal attacks only, goes through resilience. It doesn't say that, but it just does it. So, uh, honestly, what we're kind of asking for is some clarity here, because this doesn't say anything. It just it, it just makes enemies into strength type. So, it's like a guessing game into figuring out whether this character works in one way or another. And because of that, you know, that's where a lot of people have said, you know, it kind of feels like false advertisement, even though it's not false advertisement. I'm not saying that it is, but I can understand people's perspectives on it. And, you know, I just think a lot of people are asking for compensation or some type of refund. I don't think that's going to occur. I think that this might have been the intended design of this character. And if that is the case, well, then all we're just asking for is some clarity. Because if that is the case, and that was the way the character was intended to be used, then yeah, no one really would have pulled for this character, honestly. It just is not that exciting when you compare him to something like Uta or like Kaido or something like that. So it is just very disappointing that we're in this kind of situation. And, you know, obviously myself and other creators such as solaris and stumpty gacha we've already let the right people know we've already let people know about this particular issue that, that the community has so don't get your knickers in a twist because we have let the right people know so now it's up to them to either come out with a statement and say you know we apologize and we're going to make a fix or you know if this is the intended usage which i think this is probably the intended design in the grand scheme of things which ultimately is a pretty big disappointment for the community and for people that actually pulled on this banner in the first place thinking that this character would do one thing when he does another thing so that's honestly a pretty big issue another issue that i have with shanks that we found out on stream is his pie rumble abilities because his rumble special says that it targets your team for 100 percent chance to remove stat reducing effects now what we found out is that this does not remove halving of stats you know if you're up against an opposing yamato and they use their special where some of your characters are inflicted with half stats the special ability of shanks does not remove half stats it only removes like you know attack down defense down speed down i believe maybe ct down as well um he just removes those he doesn't remove halving stats which i guess you know you could probably surmise that from the special itself which like that one is not as big of an issue i think the regular abilities is definitely the highlight here in terms of what needs to be done or what needs to be said what needs to be stated but this just this as well is just like another nail in the coffin as to why this character is just as annoying as what he is so overall i think that this probably right now sits as probably the most disappointing sugo fest release of 2022 and i did not think that we we're going to be getting that of a super sugo fest exclusive let alone shanks being that right so you know i just wanted to let you guys know about the situation regarding shanks and this is just being a psa do not pull for the super sugo fest exclusive redhead shanks until there maybe i'm not even saying there is even going to be a statement but we need to hear something like is this the intended you know purpose is this the intended design of this character if not hopefully there's a fix if it is well tough titties we got screwed right <laughs> so i just wanted to let you guys know all about this because i can understand that the community is kind of frustrated right now i know a lot of memes are flying around which are very very funny but i know people that really wanted to get their hands on this guy and you know the fact that they think it works in one way or just, not even just that they think everyone had pretty much the same opinion that he was going to work in one way even japanese players mind you and now we're in this boat right now, which is where he doesn't work that way at all. So yeah, it's just very bizarre. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Leave the discussion down there. And hopefully, you know, we can uh, we can all smoke that copium together. But that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.